I'm going to show you how to shoot tethered capture using Lightroom. Tethered capture means that the camera is literally connected or tethered to the computer. One end of the USB cord is plugged into the camera body. The other end is plugged into the computer. There are ways to do this wireless. Uh, I don't have the other, that equipment. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it by cable. Now, Lightroom is very easy to use. Um, when I turn my camera on, what's going to happen is Lightroom is going to go into the camera, onto the card and see what's there and ask if we wanna actually start by downloading that. So I'm gonna turn the camera on and a screen should pop up and it's going to select the source. So these are some pictures that I did as tests of setting up to do this demo. So I don't wanna import them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say cancel and then up here, I'm gonna make sure that I cancel that um, import. So the camera's on and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do. We're gonna go up to the file menu and we're gonna pull it down and we're gonna tethered capture, start tethered capture and we're gonna call it Lightroom demo on Zoom. And we're gonna, the session name, the files will be named Lightroom demo on Zoom. And then we're gonna give them a sequence number. So frame number one will be frame number one. I'm going to put them into a folder. So uh, I had done some playing around with it before I did this demo. So I'm gonna make a new folder and we're gonna call it Zoom 2. So I've created Zoom 2 and this is where all our raw files are going to go. And we'll say, okay. Now, right now, the screen, the, com the computer has recognize my camera. It's an old camera, my Canon D90, which is the newer one that I have. It's not supported by Lightroom. I'm not very happy about that, but I did manage to charge the batteries in an old Canon Rebel T3i. <clears throat> and that's what I'm using for this demonstration. So uh, on this little panel that shows up, which of course you can move, we can put it anywhere we want. Um, and what we can see is we can control the shutter, the f-stop, the ISO and the daylight or, or, or white balance rather from here. I have it set to daylight because uh, I have a, um, an LED mono lighting at the ceiling. So we're filling the room with daylight so we can see what we're doing. Uh, I press this button and the camera takes a picture. And there we are. This is the picture that it just took. I'm gonna make it bigger on the screen so that you could see how it is. Uh, I'm going to show you um, how we're actually here. Here's my hand. There's my hand on the picture. That's frame number two. And I'm gonna show you what happens if we wanna change some of these things. So let's change the ISO down to 200 and we'll take a frame. And of course it should be too dark because 200 is way too low. Let's go back to 6,400, which is what I, I metered it at. And we're gonna, we're gonna change the, we'll do, do one at daylight then we'll change the white balance. So you can see what happens when we change the white balance. We'll change the white balance to, um, well, let's play with auto. Let's do auto white balance and see what happens. And that actually looks, you know, pretty close to maybe even a little, a little brighter. I don't know why. And let's use tungsten and it should end up being blue, let's say. It actually looks really cool, cool in many ways. Uh, I'm gonna fine tune my uh, exposure here. Maybe I'll go to a 60th. And that actually looks a little bit better. So uh, we already have the, the files on the card in the camera and we have the files already in Lightroom and we can then export them without having to do another upload. So in order to end the uh, tethered capture, we're going to go up to file, tethered capture, stop tethered capture. And that's it. That's how it's done.